so I think it's time we talk about it. There's a big problem with the One Piece live action and I think it's time we all address this. You see, the cast of the live action were revealed a few days ago and whilst I personally did have some reservations at first, I think they'll all do a great job. But you see, there's a bigger problem and that problem is you and I and pretty much all of us in the One Piece community. Now hear me out. You see, all of us One Piece fans are so critical when it comes to One Piece and the reveal of the cast has caused up a stir. This is people judging the characters because some may not be what they envisioned. But let's face it, it would be impossible to satisfy every single person's expectations. And so for this video, I want to take a look at the cast that have been revealed and some of the feedback I've seen and also my personal thoughts on them so far. And without delaying any further, let's take a look at Enaki Kudoi, who will be playing our MC in Luffy. And I think this might be the one that has caused the biggest stir. And I personally do understand why, but I can't say I completely agree. You see, we know that Oda said in regards to Luffy's real world ethnicity, he imagines that Luffy would be of Brazilian descent. And whilst Inaki is not Brazilian, he is Mexican and of that Latino descent. But before I talk any more about him, here's a video of him introducing himself. Hello everyone, my name is Iñaki Godoy Caso. Guess what? I'm gonna be playing Luffy. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that's me, the guy in the shirt. Woo! I can't wait to become the pirate king. Questionable, right? Well, I think for me, it was how he said, I'm going to be the pirate king. And that's something I've seen on Twitter quite a bit. And people not quite expecting this to be what Luffy would be like. But I think the real problem is the character Luffy. You see, the way Luffy is portrayed in the manga is probably really tough to replicate in a live action and could technically lead to Inaki being, I'd say, annoying and quite cringe. And few people have mentioned this already. Also, given that the base language is likely to be English, it's going to be really hard to get that emotion across to us fans, particularly with all the accents involved as well. But I think we have to put our faith in the casting of Odor, because I think Anarchy is going to do a fantastic job. You see, in my mind, I can envision him turning serious whilst also having that childlike character of Luffy. And so we should really just give him the chance and the opportunity that he does deserve. Next, we have Nami, who's being played by Emily Rudd. So let's check out her video. My name is Emily Rudd. I am so beyond excited to be playing Nami in One Piece. Must have made by Oda Sensei. And personally, I have no qualms with Emily because I think this is a fantastic casting and one that they got absolutely right. I mean, I saw a few silly comments on Twitter talking about her proportions, but people have to remember that this is pre-time skip, folks, and those proportions are just completely unrealistic. I think what is more key is Emily getting in character and really giving us that Nami the Cat Burglar feel, with also a hint of cheekiness. And then when we get to Arlon Park, really getting that emotion across the pain and the struggle that she's endured. But apart from that, I don't think that there's much more to say on it. And I really look forward to seeing what Emily does here. Next, we have Mekenyu, and he's playing Rorono Zoro. So let's check out his video. Hi, it's Mekenyu, that I'll be playing Zoro. Hi, it's Mekenyu, that I'll be playing Zoro. And as you can see, he probably fits the bill. I think in general for Zoro, people would normally be extremely critical as Zoro is probably most people's favourite character. But Mekenyu has generally had a great response. I think his past material, including a scene for a film he did named Overdrive, has been really great to see floating about. And I think generally, most people genuinely believe he's going to body this role. I've even seen images that have been photoshopped to make him look even more like Zoro. So in general, I'm really excited for this. And I think the only thing we do need to be cautious of is how his dynamic with Luffy is going to be. And as this is going to be the foundation of the first few episodes, 
I think people are going to be extremely critical. Next, let's take a look at Taz Skylar, who I feel a lot of people did question at first. But let's check out his video before we discuss this. My name is Taz Skylar. I am very excited to be playing Sanji. Also, shout out to Achira Oda for drawing these tees for us. And I'm not sure if it's the fact that he's British or the fact that people didn't envision this to be what Sanji would look like. But people were really hesitant about his casting for the first few hours that it was revealed. And I even saw a comment on him having short hair. So of course we need to be logical and understand that he probably will grow his hair and there will be hair and makeup. And so this is just something that is completely and absolutely minor. But one thing I really do like is what I believe his dynamic will be with the other characters, particularly the females. Can you imagine this really suave British guy who only loses composure around females? And no, I'm not talking about myself. <laughs> I think this role is extremely challenging, particularly his dynamic with Zoro, or should I say McKenyu? And his dynamic with Nami is going to be so crucial. And it's just going to be absolutely amazing with Nami being played by Emily Rudd. And it's going to bring so much to the story. So I'm hoping that all together they really do have some sort of unity. And I'm really hoping that he can deliver. And lastly, let's take a look at Jacob Romero Gibson. And he'll be playing Usopp. Hi, my name is Jacob and I'm playing Usopp. <laughs> the pirates! They're coming! Yes! 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 And I'd definitely be lying if I said I saw any negative comments about his casting. This is one that I think they got spot on once again. And I can definitely see where they were going with this one. I can just imagine myself laughing at every lie he tells. It's actually going to be thoroughly entertaining. But that just about does it for our characters. I really just wanted to do a short video to any of us that might be judging these characters and literally just pleading for everyone to have some patience and give them the opportunity that they deserve. Of course with it being a live action, it's not going to completely replicate the manga nor the anime, but we must take things for what they are. I believe the budget for the average Netflix episode is somewhere between three to five million dollars. And it's been revealed that the budget for the One Piece live action is going to be around nine to 10 million dollars per show. And that is absolutely crazy. And with Oda being an executive producer, I really look forward to what we get from here. But that just about does it from me. I'll be looking to cover the One Piece live action and any updates we get in regards to it in the near future. So if you do like One Piece and get an up to date with any of the latest One Piece news, then do subscribe to the channel and make sure you like the video so you never miss out when I drop more content just like this. Say...